What's up everybody? Welcome to Twisted Angle Outdoors. Thanks for joining along on the adventure today. We're going to go around and see if we can take you to some interesting grave sites. See if we can get some cool stuff uh, brought up. Either way, hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you can get all my content when it comes out. Until then, here we go. Popular Christmas songs. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Jingle bell rock. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. And rocking around the Christmas tree. You will hear Dolly Dillard. She sang back up for Bob Dylan, Johnny Cash, and was a member of the Anita Kerr Singers, which she won two Grammys with. She was on the Ozark Jubilee and the Grand Ole Opry, singing with the likes of Minnie Pearl, Roy Aka, and Jimmy Dean. In 1962, she won a Grammy with Bob Dylan. She passed away in 2015 from natural causes. Engaged in a poker game at the Lion House when Davis Tut claimed Wild Bill owed him some money from a previous poker game. When they couldn't agree on the amount, Tut took Wild Bill's gold pocket watch off the table for collateral. Heavily outnumbered, Wild Bill let it go and asked that he not wear it in public. A few days later, Tut was seen wearing the watch on the square in Springfield, Missouri. After having a confrontation and even a drink together, Wild Bill had had enough. He approached Tut on the square with his gun at the ready. They both fired, but only Tut was hit. He fell on the courthouse steps and died. Early afternoon of October 25th, 1999, a chartered Learjet took off from Florida heading to Texas. As it was climbing to 39,000 feet, the plane fell to pressurize and all six souls on board passed away from hypoxia. As it played out live on TV, the world learned it was the plane of pro golfer Payne Stewart. As the plane reached an altitude of 48,900 feet, the fuel tank was empty. Everything on board was frozen as it spiraled out of control towards the ground. It struck in South Dakota. Payne Stewart won three major championships, including winning the U.S. Open, 
four months before his death, giving us his famous pose. Producing songs like Always On My Mind, The Letter, I See The One In Your Eyes, and The Clown, also working with artists like Chet Atkins, Porter Wagner, Elvis, and Brenda Lee, Cy Simon published hits from four decades. He was a producer on the television show Ozark Jubilee and was a co-founder of Earl Barton Music. He was an active Shriner and established the Red Foley Memorial Music Award. His son Scott has continued the family business and manages stars like Tim McGraw and has produced number one hits like Break Up With Him, Save It For A Rainy Day, and It's Five O'Clock Somewhere. Cy Simon passed away from cancer on December 16, 1994. soldiers, we come to the resting place of the commanding general of the Army 35th Division that was sent to France during World War II. General Ralph E. Truman graduated from West Point and served in the Spanish-American War, Mexican Expedition, World War I and II. He is best known for being the cousin of President Harry S. Truman. He passed away in 1962. Headstones over, we find the first winner of the Masters Golf Tournament, Horton Smith. Served in the U.S. Army during World War II and rose to the rank of captain. He was a member of five Ryder Cup teams, had 32 PGA Tour wins, and played in every Masters until his death of Hodgkin's disease in 1963. 